Hello everyone and welcome, welcome to Victoria 3, the game is finally out now, what a joy to play this massive big monster of a software and one thing I've noticed right away in this game is that you cannot play as every nation that you want to from the beginning and I was very disappointed in that because I wanted to play as Ireland, I wanted to play as well, something like uh, down here, Trieste, some smaller city-state in, in Italy. I wanted to play as Ireland, I wanted to play as Scotland, and these things are not possible from the get-go. And why is that? Basically because they're subjects of uh, greater powers. So we need to release these subjects and then we need to take over control of this country. But how can we do this? And this is working for every nation that you want to play with. You can even play as the Ukraine if you want to. You can play as a Crimea if you want to, as small as that. You can play as Slovakia or Slovenia if you want to, or another nation on the Balkan. You can play as Iceland if you want to, Scotland and Ireland. I'm just going to show you how you can do this. Let's get cracking. The first thing you need to do is you need to select the bigger nation where your country is. So for example, I would like to start as Ireland, right? And we're going to choose a Great Britain for that, a number one great power. And I'm just going to set my rules for whatever you want to. It doesn't matter what you go here for, right? Um, the only thing you need to check is releasable nations and you need to choose all. Allow implausible and fantasy-esque nations to be released. If you don't have this one checked, then you will not be able to release any nations. Historically plausible, it needs to be, um, and then some nations will not be able to be releasable. So just make sure that you have this set to all. The next thing is we're going to choose now Great Britain with those rules enabled and we're going to start the game. By the way, just for your information, you can still activate the achievements as well, right? So you can make this one here enabled even if you have releasable nations to all. Let's start as Great Britain. Now, in the game itself, I'm not even going to unpause. Uh, we are going to have a quick look at the Great Britain and the great city and megalopolis of London that we have down here. But of course, Dublin should be my biggest capital, my beautiful capital. Now, one thing that we go for is diplomacy right here, F6 on the shortcut menu and diplomacy. And then you have a release subject tab right over here. If I click on that, I see now all the the subject of a Great Britain that, for example, also counts in all the, the nations on the other sides of the world, like Guatemala, for example, Jamaica, Malta, Newfoundland, you have all of these options available. And you can then choose any of these here. We have Scotland and Ireland up here. And I click on Ireland and I can now say release as independent. I'm not going to say release as own subject country. I'm going to say release as independent. We're going to get Ireland into independence, right? That is pretty important. And then we can say also very important here, play as Ireland. If you don't check this here, then Ireland will just be released as independent. You will still continue to play as Great Britain. I want to play as Ireland though. We can also do the same thing for Scotland, for example, and then we can play Scotland. We can do the same for Wales. I think, can you actually do it? Yes, you can play it really as anything, right? We can play as Malta if you want to, as Newfoundland and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and check this one and say release. And there you go it. We changed from the power level one greatest power in the world to a minor power, that is Ireland. Let's just quickly unpause the game and we are rank 19. So we are immediately also getting ranked into what is possible with our prestige level, our population that we have now. And as we can see, we are now independent from Great Britain. Great Britain is also now darkened, right? So because we are now only focusing on our nation. What I also want to know right away is um, how many states do I have? Let's click on the budget and state and we got four states available. Those ones here and as Ireland, for example, we have a deep problem here with our financials, right? So we don't have a lot of gold and we don't have a lot of income. So you need to act fast. Let's also have a quick look at Austria and in Austria, for example, as we know, it's a huge, um, huge state or huge, well, kingdom really monarchy that spans a lot of nations and we can also have a check here once again diplomacy release subject and there you go transylvania trieste galicia we do also have some here that we could release if we had more nations or more states 
of this one here, of the Polish, for example. Bohemia, you can place Hungary if you want to, or Venice. And yeah, well, Venice is, of course, very interesting as it's a city-state, more or less, this little area down here with uh, Venice as the big city. This should also turn out into one of a very interesting playthrough if you play as Venice, for example, as you only have one state. You are actually pretty good financially, right? And you can then just go ahead and, well, conquer Italy on your own if you want to and unite Italy as well. Let's have a quick look at Russia, because Russia, of course, is one of or is the biggest nation in the world, the biggest um, empire in the world when it comes to the size of it. And let's just have a look at that as well. As Russia, of course, we have a lot of subjects. So here you can play as Poland if you want to. As Ukraine, you can play as the Don Cossack hosts if you like that. And you can also play, for example, as Yakutian. So over here. You do have a lot of options with also starting as Russia and I could for example then go ahead and start as the Ukraine and create an alternate history if you like that. Ever wondered how you can place Mongolia and start as China and you will then find a Mongolia in the release subjects tab right over there and well you will actually have the ability to play as quite a huge a huge state right away as we can see between Russia and China having this huge landmass available with lots of states and you can just go crazy over there. What I find really interesting if you release a subject and play is that we actually have a positive or even amicable relationship to the former overlord, right? So even if we release ourselves, we will have good relations and we will not go into any problem of getting conquered again right away. You do have a bit of time to, to build up your state. Another and last very interesting playthrough that I could imagine with that is starting as the Japanese. Now, the Japanese already are pretty interesting because they're an isolated island nation, more or less, um, that is also isolated from everyone else uh, trade-wise. But you can even go further and you can, for example, release Etso up here. So, you know, Kaido, the island, you just start really then with one state right away. Sapporo is your uh, capital and you can go crazy with, first of all, colonization of your northern um partners <laughs> and then you could for example take over these empty islands here for now and then also japan if you like to a very interesting playthrough that focuses more on survival of one state and a bit of colonization and then ramping up your economy before taking over others should also turn into a very interesting playthrough i hope you enjoyed this one you now know how to place any nation in the world if you like that with all its implications that follow just continue and get cracking on this beautiful game see you on the battlefield field.